I always have to come up in my own head with a scenario of who the customer is. What is their world like? I will go down to the detail of like, okay, for this family, they celebrate the holidays in their weekend home in the mountains. And this is the kind of car they drive. They have a big dog. They have three kids. This is the kind of Christmas tree they would have. So then what kind of packages would they want under this tree? I have to create a real scenario to make it real for me to design to. Otherwise, you're just kind of doing whatever you want. And you can do a great design that nobody buys because nobody connects to it. This year, it was interesting because they were extreme opposite. One group I did was Simple Joy, and the other group was Joyous Noel. Simple Joy was all about the simple life, doing product that had kind of a folksy, crafty, handmade quality to it. And then Joyous Noel was the complete opposite. It was all about more is more, the luxe life, metallics. I rely a lot on my own history, my own traditions, what was familiar to me and what was unique to me. You know, I grew up in the country, so that has a certain effect of how I look at Christmas, for instance. Growing up on a farm, you know, that was my dad's job to go cut the tree. And we had winterberry on our property growing up in Texas. We had a big basket by the back door that he would just fill with red winterberry. So I always work that in, like if I'm doing a snowman, the arms may be branches of winterberry, or I'll do a wreath made out of winterberry because it was so much a part when I think of Christmas, what that was like. Then going to the Lux group, where it was focused more on the luxurious, there's a winterberry pattern in that group, but it's on gold foil, all silhouette and cream. So it's very natural subject matter, but it's done in an elegant, sophisticated way. The true excitement to me is to see it, you know, in the real world, in somebody's life. I remember one time I was um, in an elevator and a lady got on and she had a handle bag that I designed and she had all of her gym clothes in it. And I thought, should I say, you know, I'm the person that designed that bag that you're using to take to the gym? But I thought, no, I'll just you know, keep it my little secret. But it was fun to just see how somebody applies it to their life and what the, how they use it and how they adapt the product into their world.